There's a growing movement nationally of faculty who are formally resisting the idea of college classes resuming in-person instruction in the fall. A listener has asked me if faculty should be allowed to refuse to teach in person. After all, he argued, at most jobs, if you refuse to show up, you lose your job. This opt-out movement is clearly growing. In last week's video, I listed a number of huge schools whose faculty are united on this issue. But smaller schools, who don't typically make the national news, are going the same route. I recommend an op-ed that appeared last week in Esquire magazine, written by Penn State English professor Paul Kellerman, entitled, I love teaching at Penn State, but going back this fall is a mistake, 1,000 of my colleagues agree. Anytime you can get 1,000 faculty at a single school to agree on something specific, that's noteworthy. And Kellerman's article does a great job of outlining the faculty's concerns. I'll put a link to that article in the description below. And speaking of what's below, now is a good time to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. As an aside, it's interesting to note that despite widespread student dissatisfaction with online instruction, the increase in cases nationally has also led to increasing numbers of students either requesting online instruction be continued or asking that their schools take more comprehensive steps to ensure safety. Faculty should absolutely be allowed to opt out for a number of important reasons. But before I get to those, I might as well first dispense with the idea that substantial number of faculty could lose their jobs at any given school if they don't show. Leaving aside legal issues, there's a good practical reason why teachers have their schools over a barrel. There's no school that could immediately replace a significant number of its teachers. Professors aren't unskilled laborers. They are highly credentialed employees whose credentials requ are required, not just by the school, but by the accreditors that permit the school to operate. So any school which planned to fire large numbers of teachers over this would have to have replacements available, and that generally just isn't the case. So on to the real question. Should faculty be allowed to opt out? There are several reasons why the answer is yes. First and foremost is the safety issue. We're still learning about this disease, but it is safe to say that many faculty, because of age or other complicating conditions, are vulnerable. Under federal law, you're entitled to a safe workplace. Your employer must provide a workplace free of known health and safety hazards. If you have concerns, you have the right to speak up about them without fear of retaliation. Second is the issue of judgments about teaching pedagogy. Traditionally, teachers determine not only course content, but also make decisions about, that, about how that content is effectively taught. Many faculty believe that the requirements of social distancing and mask wearing, although necessary, interfere with the normal exchange between teacher and student. The teachers would now be far away from the teacher and each other, much of their faces would be obscured, as well as the teachers, and this prevents the nonverbal communication that all teachers use to judge student comprehension, for example. Granted, Teaching over Zoom has many of the same limitations, but these are easier to overcome. Third are the practical issues created when an environment is created where most health professionals agree transmission likelihood is increased. You can't catch the disease over Zoom. What are schools going to do when a teacher tests positive? At the very least, the class is going to move to online at that point anyway, but those who become seriously ill will likely not be able to continue instruction, leaving an entire class of students, actually the teacher's entire teaching load, high and dry. Remember the problem of finding replacements? Most teachers love teaching, and most love doing that teaching in person. Also, some subjects don't lend themselves to online instruction. Faculty aren't trying to take the easy way out. They're looking for safety, which is completely understandable, and maximum effectiveness, which is admirable. I appreciate your questions, and I hope this information was helpful to you. I hope you're safe and healthy, and I look forward to speaking with you again next week.